All right. The next thing I want to talk about as a perception is, I think this one's going to hit home with a lot of people today. So, the second perception is what, what's called lean, finely textured beef. How many of you are aware of lean, finely textured beef? We've got a few hands in the crowd. Um, well, let me tell you what lean, finely textured beef is. As you can see, lean, uh, meat that comes into a, a th this is beef that comes into a meat processing plant. All right, and so so the beef is manually trimmed, and so when the cow comes in, it's manually trimmed, and you get your cut steaks that come out come out of the beef the beef manufacturing facility. Well. This lean, finely textured beef, a company came up with an idea of what if we took the trimmings that we're trimming off and throwing out to scraps, we heated them up, send them through a centrifuge, and pull the good parts of meat away from the fat so that we're not throwing out as much scraps as what we used to. And to make this a safer pro process, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add an ammonium hydroxide to this so that... So that it ups, so that it changes the pH, and it actually will raise the pH, so that it, so that bacteria and salmonella can't grow in this product because we want it to be a safe product. If we do this, we can freeze it, and we can send it off, and people can then can then use that in their ground beef because ground beef is so expensive, and this was just going to be waste. So, my question to you is, what do you think a meat inspector would think about this the first time they see it? Not good. <clears throat> well, my, my first thing when, when I learned about the process, I got excited because I'm thinking, look at what we used to waste and now we're being able to, to take this ground beef and not throw it out and get it into, into our circulation. And one of the things, that being in the food supply for so long, is that you see fewer and fewer resources and fewer producers and yet our population keeps growing and growing. So one of the biggest challenges that we have right now is our food supply because our, our suppliers are tasked with creating, producing more with fewer resources to feed more people. So this technology is allowing them to salvage what used to be thrown out. And this article that I read said that they can sometimes salvage some, somewhere between 10 and 12 pounds of ground beef of scraps that used to be thrown out. And when you put that into annual terms, they would basically have to slaughter another 1.5 million cattle to make up the ground beef that they're able to salvage out of this process. Well, so what would you think a suburban parent would think of this process? <laughs> they wouldn't like that? I wouldn't think so. Well, yeah, I, I think suburban parents may have a difficult time with that because a lot of people have a big food disconnect. They don't understand where their food comes from. Mm -hmm. I personally, like I said, have grown up in an agriculture community. Mm -hmm. I. How many of you uh, have ever seen a chicken house along the side of the road? <coughs> yeah? Have you ever been inside one of those? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what they have to do on a daily basis to those chickens? <coughs> you have to walk through that chicken house to pick up the dead chickens. Because chickens, when they get excited, start running and they, they trample all over each other. They'll trample on, some, on each other. So if a chicken falls down and the, and the herd's moving the other way, they get trampled on and they, they, they die. So each day, Farmers have to walk through their chicken houses to pick up the dead chickens. All right. So again, these are things that I've that I, I've experienced. I've been to meat packing plants. I've been to processors who who create food. I can tell you, I appreciate going into the store and not having to feed my chickens, cut you know, slaughter the chickens, defeather them. I like going and buying a frozen frozen chicken breast right out of the freezer. I like getting my produce right wherever I walk in. If I need something for dinner, I walk in and I get it. That's not, that doesn't happen if our food supply is not what it is. And the only way our food supply has gotten to where it is is because of technology. And so the difference is, is the perception of one person sees it as, oh, that's pink slime. I don't want my kids to eat that. The reality of it is, is it's just textured meat. That's, it's a technology that's allowed us to produce more ground beef with, with the resources that we currently have. So... Uh, like I said, it is, it's, it's treated with ammonium hydroxide, but what that is, is it's called, a, it's a safety intervention. Most people, so, <coughs> with, with, this thing's exploded over the last couple of weeks. What you can see is, after I've probably described this, you can see how somebody can take a few little pieces of it and make their own story out of their perception of the story versus what the reality of the story is. 
So when you would see this, because it's been heated up and it's pulled off the fat, it is a pink slimy looking material because it's heated and that's how it comes out. That's how it's actually described by one of the USDA inspectors, which is where the term pink slime came up. And so when you pull this out, and you, this, is, this is a process that's been done since the early 90s, the beef industry wide pre, you know, understands it and, it, and it's in beef, not just going to the school lunch program, it's in beef that goes to grocery stores and everywhere. And so there's, there's really no issues with it, but when someone calls it pink slime, and they say that there's 7 million pounds going to our, our schools, you know, our kids in our schools, I as a parent would definitely be concerned if that's the headline I read. And so when you pull pieces out of the puzzle, just like if Joy told you that she had a binge drinker who had 15 jobs in four years wanting to talk to you guys about personal development, <laughs> you guys probably...